So um, thanks to Joseph for take, taking his time out today. This is um, Joseph Ballou, Cork City Centre Half, on loan from Arsenal. And my name is Keen McGrath. We're just going to have a quick chat today um, with the League of Ireland, his time at Arsenal, his time at Cork City, and uh, some more general things about football as well. So thanks a million for taking the time to talk to me, Joseph. That's all right. So um, first of all, I suppose, um, how are you holding up during the lockdown? And um, are you still training at the moment? And what's your schedule like? Um, yeah, I think I'm kind of the program that Arsenal set for me when I came back to Vaughan, um, after everything started happening. So it's a bit of a, it's a week where I'm quite similar in things that we've got to do. And it's just a feel of just staying fit. But so we're doing cardio sessions, make sure also the strength sessions and mobility and just keeping the body like in good nick for when we do start playing football. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So, and do you miss the kind of the ball work? I suppose there's only so much gym work you can do. Um, I think I'm still able to do a bit of ball work because I just go like there's a wall right next mm-hmm. to that, and I just keep the ball up against that to a bit of kick ups and stuff, just the basics that keep like keep the touching intact and little things like that that kind of help. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. And um, just out of interest, a, a few Cork City fans we obviously had the questions up on Instagram and they were very interested, but um. How did the move to City come about, and what was it about the club that uh, attracted you? Um, so the move to Hawks came about through um, just conversation between myself, my agents, and Arsenal, and us just sitting down and looking at the best next steps for me going forward in my career, and what would the best next steps be for me to progress into men's football. And Cork was a very inviting opportunity, and it looked like a great project for me because Neil wanted us. Neil had a style of play that suited me in mm-hmm. terms of him wanting us to play football the ball down properly a, a possession based team and that was probably the biggest thing and that was how it came about yeah absolutely and um like you said you felt that the style of play suited you um is it something that you found hard to find at the level you were looking to get the experience at this kind of um progressive style that um neil is obviously looking to play um, sorry, what was the question again? Sorry, in- essentially just that when you were looking for your next step, do, do you think it's um, unique that Neil tries to play such a progressive style of play at, at this level? Um, yeah, massively, because I think, the, of course, it's very the League of Ireland is very physical. You get a lot of teams that do want to play direct football and they do want to get involved. You get into 50-50 battles and they're very direct in their style of play. So I think Neil was a, was a very bold step. And it was is a very is a is a project that is coming together gradually, and it was something that we did work on a lot, and we tried to emphasise on that fact. Of boys, just try and get the ball down and play football. We did a lot of um, boxes, possessions, a lot of just keep ball drills, that, and they helped us to bear ourselves in that aspect for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And um, you spoke there about the physicality. Sorry, the physicality of the league. Um, how big was the step up to senior football and were you surprised by the standard of the League of Ireland when you came over? Um, the step was, it was it's very different to 23's football for sure in the mm-hmm. sense that every game matters and the intensity is, is probably upped as well because you've got players more experience, they know how to do it, they've been in the league for a lot longer so I think in that aspect is intensity rises to experience that other players you're playing against is, is all very different and um, the quality of the League of Ireland is very good like there are some very good teams in there you know the obvious standouts are as everyone does say Dundalk and Shamrock Rovers those are the standout teams in the league but aside from that I think every other team in the league is very like, it's fairly set apart like there's no major differences from the rest of the league in comparison to themselves yeah yeah absolutely and um Obviously, you've um, only been at City a short amount of time and played a small amount of games thus far. But um, were you surprised by the warm welcome you got from the fans? And I, I don't really think it's an exaggeration to say that you became somewhat of a fan favourite quite quickly. Um, did that surprise you at all? Um, I think speaking to people that are that are from Ireland and that are Irish, they was just kind of reassuring me that people in Ireland are very welcoming, very homely, mm. and very friendly. And so that was something I was looking forward to. And, me personally, I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to take it in. The same love and respect that I'm being given, I'm going to give it back. And I think that's what I did do. And just, especially with the fans, I think just the passion that the fans kind of showed on every game day 
whether it was home or away, for me personally, that was massive. And for me, I'm a very passionate player, so mm. that just helps me. That That's a bit of energy for me. And then I just feel like I can then give that back to the friends and how I play and how I react to certain things, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Brilliant. And um, while at Arsenal, I, I know you were there from a, a young age, was there any senior players or a specific player that you looked up to in particular at the club? Um, I think just as a young player, being a centre-back at Arsenal, I think I was very. Um, I looked up to Laurent Koscielny a lot because mm-hmm. I did like the way he played. Laurent did. Um, he was a very good player. Koscielny was a very good player. Um, just in how he carried himself around the club mm-hmm. on the training ground it was very good. I think personally, also um, Per Mertesacker, he was oh, yeah. very useful as well. He was someone you could always go and talk to whenever you need to talk to. So those are probably two players that have been players that I've looked up to. Yeah. And uh, given the kind of current situation around the pandemic, um, is it difficult, the uncertainty around football? And um, how are you dealing with it? And how are the clubs helping? Um, I think there's constant communication between both clubs, to be honest. Mm-hmm. And in that regard, that's that's useful for for me because then I'm always aware of what's going on. And just like you said, it's very uncertain. So we don't know what's going on. We don't know when we'll be back to football, but I'm hoping it's sooner rather than later. And for me, I'm just doing everything possible in my strength to stay physically fit, keep working on my ball stuff as much as possible and just keep myself in a good position for when we do go back to playing football. Yeah, for sure. And I know you said there about um, Shelley and Mertesacker at Arsenal, but I mean, in, outside of Arsenal as well, who are your idols footballing ways growing up? Um, your favourite players? Um, it's a bit of a funny one. Just, I think, I was a lot younger when I was in primary school, possibly. Just mm-hmm. having... Just everyone being massive admirers of Cristiano Ronaldo. So mm-hmm. I used to like to go around the the playground in primary school thinking I was Cristiano Ronaldo taking 30 yard shots from all over the place. But I think then as I progressed and understood I was going to be a centre back, I think um, a player that I've looked up to massively, um, I would say Sergio Ramos. Mm-hmm. Sergio Ramos, just his style of play, the way he leads both club and country, and mm-hmm. just like the passion he also shows his fans. And the way he plays and stuff, I think so. Drums probably for me was, yeah, my idol growing up. Mm-hmm. And look, obviously, um, like I said earlier, there hasn't been a huge amount of games played yet, and we're not sure when there will be. But um, what do you think the biggest lesson that you can take away from time of city so far has been? If you have one, I know obviously it's a short enough time. Um, biggest lesson I take away from I understand that every game matters, and. As soon as you take that step up to men's football, regardless of where you've come from, how old you are, mm-hmm. you're being you're now being judged as a man. As, mm-hmm. as soon as you make that first step onto the pitch, you're being judged as a man. So you've got to be accountable for your decisions that you make, for the actions that you make on the pitch, and it's very there's a lot of ownership in in that in that regard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, brilliant. And there's a few sh- um, short questions here from some uh, League of Ireland and a few Cork City fans as well. So, I mean, um, first of all, from Zach Harris uh, on Instagram, um, who's been your toughest ever opponent and um, why? Um, is that just in general? Just in general, toughest opponent you've played in a match, kind of toughest, maybe I suppose, striker that you've come up against, the one that gave you the hardest time? Um, it'll definitely have to be... Um... One of the Chelsea teams I faced when I was um, younger, definitely. Mm-hmm. They are yeah. eight, um, back then. They were very good. So, was there any specific Chelsea player were... that that um, came up uh, came to your mind? Oh, um, Domingos. Mm-hmm. I think he's at Watford now. I believe. Yeah. He, oh yeah, yeah I know. Probably... Is it Domingos Quina? That guy. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. He's. Uh... He probably stands out. Yeah. Brilliant. And. Um... From Laro Tuma, we have what were your ex- expectations coming over to League of Ireland, and did the atmosphere at Turner's Cross surprise you? Uh, my expectations coming over to League of Ireland was just that I'm stepping into the men's game, so mm-hmm. I, there's nowhere for me to hide. I shouldn't expect to hide, and I should just step up and be the player that I know I can be. So mm-hmm. I think that was that. And uh, um, to be fair, Dara did was saying a lot about the atmosphere and stuff, but his description of it could not compare to the atmosphere itself when you actually step out onto that pitch at, and the shed end especially is, is just something else for sure yeah brilliant and um craig moore asks uh, is there any way that you've adapted your game to suit the league specifically 
Um, yeah, I think in terms of just my football education has predominantly been at Arsenal. Mm -hmm. So we've, just as you've grown up, has always been keep the ball, like very good passing. And I think I've always got in my game. And I think another thing that I did have to then adapt going out to League Valley is you've got to flip their defences of other teams a lot. Mm -hmm. The diagonals are there. So longer passes, I think that's probably a thing that has been, has come into my game more. So... Mm -hmm. Brilliant. And um, Casey asks, what's your favourite thing to do in Cork when you're not playing football? Um, to be fair, there's, I think there's somewhere called Mardike Ball. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I'll probably go down there a few times when, like, just after a game on a Friday, Saturday evening, just with a few of the boys, just go down there, get a bit of table tennis in, if we can, then maybe a bit as well. Mm -hmm. Bit of karaoke as well, I suppose. <laughs> nah, 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 stay away from that. <laughs> I stay away from that. And uh, Jack Ryan asks, your best mate or slash teammate at Arsenal, so either in terms of talent or someone who you're good buddies with? Um, yeah, I've got a lot of good mates mm -hmm. down at the club, but probably someone that I'm very close to is probably Toby Amole. Mm -hmm. That's it's a good friend of mine. Good friend of mine for sure, yeah. Brilliant. And um, I suppose it would be remiss if we did leave it out. Daryl Connor claiming he's the best chef in the house. Joseph, who would you give it to? Are you, yeah. are you having that? Nah, nah, I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't give it to Dar. Who are you giving it to? He's, I'll give it to him. He does, he does, he does. He's got a bit about him, but I must, I must have to, I've got to give it to myself. I've got to give it to myself. <laughs> Will you be seeing uh, Come Dine With Me from City soon enough, so, yeah? If there's a seat, if, we don't know. We don't know, we don't know. Yeah, no, that, that, that's all for me, Joseph. So thanks so much for your time. Um, Hopefully we'll see you again in the City Shirt before long. Uh, brilliant. Thank you very much.